so far I've given you several tips. I think we're at number 16 now of tips that cost little or no money. Here's a tip. Have a dedicated toolbox for a specific task. And I'll show you some examples. This toolbox set I got at Home Depot. So you get three toolboxes for the price of two. So it was a really good deal. And I'm not using the top box or the bottom box yet. But the middle box I'm going to show you. This is my dedicated paint box. And all these toolboxes lock together so you can transport them together. Again, this is my paint box. I have everything I need for painting, for household painting, for room painting. I have a, a magnetic strip installed in the top so I can have some of my steel items readily available. Like these are nicer than a screwdriver for opening paint cans. So a few of the items I have, sheetrock screws for, for, for fixing sheetrock and then some of my sheetrocking equipment. Uh, Reynolds wrap always comes in handy. It goes around things to cover it up so you don't paint items. And then of course all the paint rollers and a paint pan down in there. Extra rollers, uh, tarps, an old painting shirt, ways to clean up sheetrock. I got a, a whisk brush in there. Everything I need to paint a room, with the exception of the paint. I have a dedicated tough box for camping. So all my camping supplies, my small two-man tents in here, my thermos, cook stove, water filters, dedicated boxes, for toiletries, some food items, first aid items, all in here and it's ready to go when I need it. Pardon the mess, but I've had this toolbox for many years and these stickers, these auto meter stickers do have a purpose. Helps me get the proper orientation back on the box. This is my electrical box. So I have all my wire spare parts for electrical work in here solder electrical tape switches different screwdrivers torque screwdrivers or a test light get my soldering stuff the idea behind these boxes are that they're portable I can take them to the vehicle, or I can take them to a room, or I can take them to a, a friend's house to help them out, or a different location, and I have what I need. This toolbox is set up like the old Army General Mechanics Toolkit, which contains the tools that you need for about 80% of your automotive needs. It contains uh, your socket sets, your tool rolls, screwdrivers, the ratchets, pry bars, uh, pliers, channel locks, that sort of stuff. Most of the time the tool rolls, both SAE and metric, stay here on the shelf on the side of my shop. I have a toolbox made from an old ammo can that uh, cut the slot in the handle so that uh, you can make a, a locking latch for it. Notice I painted it red so you can't confuse it with a regular ammo can. So when it's on the tank, you don't confuse it with the ammo. This one I mainly use for purpose stuff that I need to take over to a friend's house or whatever if I'm traveling. I have several tackle boxes that I use for toolboxes. They're great because you can put in your tools that you need and you can have the supplies that you need specifically for a particular job. This one's built specifically for doing uh, air fired heater work. Tackle boxes are great because you can generally 
get to whatever you need. I don't use them when I'm working on cars, but in addition to toolboxes, I have a couple of tool belts. This one's mainly set up to do electrical work, at least house electrical work. They're nice to have when you're crawling around in a crawl space or you're up in an attic somewhere. You can outfit it with whatever you need. I also have another tool belt besides this one that's set up for more rough carpentry type work. In this case, I really believe a little organization really pays off. Hopefully this was thought provoking and that you can come up with some other ideas for dedicated toolboxes. I look forward to your comments on uh, what other boxes you've come up with. That's the tip. Have a dedicated toolbox for a particular task. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments. And if you did, please subscribe.